Hello, my name is Christina, and I'm so excited to talk about my favorite object, which is the astrolabe at the Aga Khan Museum. One of the reasons that I love the astrolabe so much is because it's just kind of an everyday practical object that was used by people. I think there are a lot of objects in museums that are enormous and covered in jewels and used by kings. Um, but the astrolabe at the Aga Khan is just a navigational and timekeeping device that real people used in their everyday lives to do things like determine the time for prayer and which direction Mecca would be so that they could face Mecca while they were praying. Um, and it also happens to be beautiful in addition to being practical. Um, the astrolabe looks sort of like a, a compass or a pocket watch or an oversized compact mirror. It's bronze, it's inlaid with silver, um, and it's very ornate. It has an outer casing with beautiful curlicules and geometric designs and inner plates uh, that slide into that outer casing. Uh, the astrolabe at the Aga Khan has four different plates. And one of the things that's really interesting about them is that they're inscribed in different languages. Um, so they're inscribed in Latin, and in Arabic, and three of the four plates also have inscriptions in Hebrew. The astrolabe at the Aga Khan comes from Spain, actually from the city of Toledo. Uh, and so what's interesting about the different inscriptions and the place where the astrolabe comes from is that the city of Toledo in the 13th, 14th century um, was a very multicultural, multi-faith city that actually had a thriving Christian population Jewish population and Muslim population. Uh, and so you can kind of see that multicultural, multi-faith um, environment reflected in the astrolabe itself because it's inscribed in those different languages. I actually had the opportunity to visit the city of Toledo myself in 2019, uh, and it was really exciting to walk through the medieval city with its thick yellow walls and its narrow cobblestoned streets uh, and to sort of feel myself present in a place and almost in a time um, that the astrolabe came from. It felt like I could situate myself in that point in history and put myself in the shoes of the people who walked those streets hundreds of years ago and who used this artifact. While I was there, I even had the opportunity to visit one of the oldest mosques in Europe. That mosque has been converted to a chapel, um, and so now it's called the Chapel of Cristo de la Lutz. Um, but it still retains a lot of the architectural features of a mosque um, with some really beautiful domes in the interior. Uh, and when you walk up to it in what would have been the Muslim quarter of this medieval city hundreds of years ago, you can actually see that artistically, architecturally, it shares a lot of the same design features as the astrolabe does with the same kind of ornate geometric patterns. And so for me, being present in that city and looking at that mosque and walking those streets really just drove home that many of the objects and artifacts in the museum collection um, are, are real things that real people used um, in all these different cities around the world. And that was really special.